Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, only give all praises, only glory unto Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachabadash, Davana, to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and in sincerity. I'm the brother Shemala from the GMS Houston Camp, and this lesson is going to be entitled The Left Handed Priesthood. All right. And it's basically going into Esau Edom, the so called white man. And how they practice their witchcraft. All right, they they make sacrifices on the left hand side, you know, against us, you know, and against the whole world actually. But you know, we are they main focus, the Israelites, being the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Israelites of the Bible. All right, according to the twelve tribes, Esau is our biggest enemy. And by any means, he's going to use that left-hand side because he is the devil. He is the, the one or the people whom Satan works through. That's why you can go to Second Thessalonians 2 and 9. It says, even him... What well, says two and eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Now, who is that wicked that is talking about? Right? You go to let's see, Malachi. One and four. It says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the how will folks they shall build, but I will throw down. The, the key point is talking about Edom. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh had indignation, righteous anger, forever. So that's the wicked. Talking about that wicked being revealed, all right? Job 9, 24 also say that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked is being revealed in these times through the prophets. That's why it says, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The prophets are speaking his word against this man and prophesying against this kingdom, prophesying the downfall of this place. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming because our Lord is coming in chariots, what the world calls UFOs. This is how he's coming to destroy, you know, America, you know, coupled with nuclear missiles, right? nuclear weapons. Second Thessalonians 2 and 9, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs in line one. So even him, it says he's after the workings of Satan. The NIV version reads, the coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that, that serve lies. Uh, it says, so like he will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. And so a, he is, Satan is operating through him. All right. The way he acts would be as if Satan, if he was a, a nation of people on the earth. Hey, that's that's this is what Satan would do. Exactly what he does on the earth. That's why I said that they are the border of wickedness. Wherever they go, wickedness follows. Right? But we can get matter of fact, no. Go back to Revelation. 12, right? We're going to read 10. And I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them for our God day and night. Which this is what Esau Edom does. He basically puts stumbling blocks before or obstacles in front of our people to make them sin. 
purposely through television, through the music, right, through the media. They put enchantments on them or, you know, make certain things readily available, right, wickedness, whether it's adultery, whether it's the changing of genders, you know, any type of wickedness, all right? You had the whole crack epidemic thing, you know, it all back in the 80s. And it shows you that America, well, not the CIA, right, had part in that. So, yeah, they, they will put the drugs and the guns and this, this, and that in the neighborhoods just to see y'all destroy each other, just to see us destroy each other. They will make these artists, you know, um, write songs that are destructive to our communities. Right. They will make, like I said, wicked sacrifices on the left hand side, you know, putting spells and enchantments on our people. All right. To basically make them gullible, to make them basically be susceptible to demons, be able to be overcome and be able to be ruled and be in subjection. Right? But it says the accuser of our brethren, because it said he accused us before the most high day and night, meaning he caused us to go off. And then he points the fingers and say, hey, look, these are your chosen people. They are going off. Right? So you, you got to cast them away. Because when you go to the history of Jacob and Esau, Jacob got the blessing from Esau. Esau actually sold it, but he wants that blessing and that birthright back. That's what I meant to say. He sold the birthright. He sold the birth the birthright unto Jacob. And Jacob got the better blessing from Isaac, his father. So Esau hated Jacob, which is the progenitor of the forefather of the 12 tribes. For that reason, and he still hates us to this day, but he's trying to get that birthright back that he sold. And he thinks he can do that by putting these stumbling blocks, obstacles, you know, in our people's path to make them go off and win the favor of the Heavenly Father. Because when you go to this word, uh, let's look at accuser real quick, All right? Strong's G2723, Categareo, Categareo. He says to accuse before a judge, who's the judge, the Most High? To make an accusation. An accusation is not facts. Right? You're accusing somebody of something. It says a charge or a claim that someone has done something illegal or wrong, right? It's a claim, an allegation, right? It's like if money leaves out of your bank account, you follow a dispute or a claim that something has happened and they got to look into it. It's not necessary facts. All right, because you just said something, you gotta make a claim. And that's what they're doing. And even in the law, it says not to put a stumbling block right before one another. And he saw he was our brother, but he broke that brotherly covenant, like the scriptures say. All right, but let me get Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Right, and America is built off of this. They've been into the, the Masonic, you know, the, the witchcraft, the sorceries. This whole thing is built off of this. This is the whole energy of this place. This is a satanic, demonic place. The land of darkness, all right, the shadow of the valley of death. This is that place, all right? So stand with thine enchantments. That says Chabar. Right? It says association company band, a magician, a charmer, spell. So they they always cast in spells. It's like hey, even when you hey, how they do that through through the media, they cast spells through the media. They do the, they cast spells and enchantments through music. Right, that's why you have a certain song that sounds catchy, but they're talking about some wickedness, and they put a nice little cute beat behind it, you know. Now you bob me your head. 
singing the lyrics and the lyrics talking about adultery and that's that's being implanted into your mind all right so it says a spill sorceries kashap right witchcraft so spells and witchcraft this is what they focus on on that left hand side it says thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel so they weary in these things day and night it says the kids of thy brethren that shall accuse that accuse us day and night they are weary in these things they're weary in, in in a lot of left hand energy all right because that's how he gets blessed so to speak through the left hand side through satan but satan works for the heavenly father the heavenly father is only allowing this man to do certain things to fulfill prophecy he's not truly truly blessed well, he's blessed as far as this is his kingdom, but as far as having the most high, you know, on his side forever and, and having, you know, the most high having good intentions for him, you know, giving him his birthright in the kingdom, none of that's going to happen. He's only using this man for a certain particular purpose. It says, surely, Numbers 23 and 23, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel, according to to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what had the most high rock, right? Because during this time you had what Balak trying to get Balaam to curse Israel. And he basically said, you know, you can't curse whom the most high has blessed. This word for enchantment is Nakash. It says divination and enchantment. Basically still like going into spells. All right, and a charmer. All right, this is Kwasam, divination, witchcraft, of false prophets of the nations. Balaam, what? Well, because Balaam, what is that? that? That basically is another name for Satan. And this man tried to put his witchcraft out there to get our people to fall down onto him, to worship him. Like I said, to be susceptible onto him. But hey, when you go to Romans 11 and 4, but what said the answer of the most high to him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So you're going to have those that's only going to worship Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. It's going to be protected. It's going to be the true sheep of Yahweh Shai. Those are the ones that that enchantment, those enchantments are not going to work on. Because they got the covering, they're covered with the covering of the Heavenly Father. Only the two thirds will fall susceptible to that. All right, because when you go to Revelation 13 and 8, talking about the beast, this beast system, NATO and the EU, right? The power structure of Esau, Edom, right? This is who, who's ruling during these times. It's who this chapter is going into. All right, missing the dragon, which is ancient Rome. All right, let me see. Right, the dragon. Mr. The dragon up there, which is ancient Rome, and that beast that came back, who deadly one was healed. It's America coming back into power. All right, America and his allies. All right, but it says, Revelation 13 and 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Who's that lamb? It's Yahweh shot. So the ones whose name are not written in the book of life are those that are not part of the elect. They're not a part of that 7,000, which means it's a complete um, number, basically the elect, right? The number that's not going to fall down to worship this man. These are those that are outside of that. They're going to fall onto this witchcraft. They're going to be, you know, um, taken over by these demons, all right? That's why you got to stay, you know, prayed up, right? And have on this armor, the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ephesians 6 and 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, right? Being strong in his truth and his faith. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, right? The trickery against all of the things that are that he sets up. When you think of the devil, people think about Satan, but it's talking about the so-called white man because that's who Satan works through. Like I, the priest that I quoted earlier or that I grabbed in 2 Thessalonians, right? This word is Diablos, right? Says prone to slander, slanders, accusing falsely, false accuser, 
Revelation 12 speaks about the, the, the accuser of our brethren. That's the devil. The slanderer. That's what we're talking about. All right? But that's who Satan works through. And even though you have certain, you have spirits, you have demons as well. And this protects against all of that. Ephesians 6 and 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, right? Because like I got um, grabbed in Isaiah 47, right? This, hey, this man is constantly into that witchcraft, casting spells, right? And you go into principalities, goes into chief demons. So demons rule this place. This is a, a wicked place. This is a wicked world. So that's why you got to stay prayed up and have on this covering of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Be covered with his spirit. To be covered with his protection. Because a it's not a flesh and blood battle. All these things are spiritual. So you got to be strong spiritually. All right. You got to be armored up, protected spiritually. Said, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the, the, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of the Most High, right? This is how we're going to overcome. It says they overcome, they overcame him by their testimony, by the blood of the Lamb, right? Through this word, which is this armor. You know, this is how we're going to combat against those spells being casted. How we're going to combat against demons, combat in the, in the spiritual sense. Right? This is this is this is the tools that we were given by the Heavenly Father. All right, to combat right, and to to go to war with right because Esau is making sacrifices constantly day and night so we got to constantly be in our sacrifices as well that's why when you go to Hosea 4 and 2 take with you words and turn to Yahweh said to him take away all iniquity and receive us graciously so we will render the calves of our lips the calves goes into the sacrifices all right but we are sacrificing with our lips. All, you know, available and possible through Yahweh Shah. And what is Isaiah 62? And let's see. I believe it's 62. Right, 62 and 6. I have to say, Washington upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish until he makes Jerusalem and praise in the earth. So, this is what we're supposed to be wearied in doing these lessons, rehearsing these righteous acts, being in the spirit. Right? We're supposed to be wearied and doing this work. It's like Esau is weird in his sacrifices. I mean, he's constantly doing this, he, he, he putting in work. We got to be putting in work as well, you know, on the right hand side to come back with that left hand side. All right. And let me look up that word real quick. When it says, Thou art wearied. Right here. It says, La. To be impatient, to be offended, to be tired of something, weary oneself to weary, make weary, exhausted. All right. So he's impatient, he's offended, all right. He and he's tired <laughs> because hey, he's he he basically got his mind set on this because he knows his end is coming. You see. So, so like I used the wrong word for this, all right? But just like he's putting in work, this, I should just say that. Just like he's putting in work, we should be putting in work as well, you know? So, hey, with that, I pray this was an edifying lesson.
Até mais, inshallah.